The Flextail Zero is claimed to be a comfortable outdoor inflatable pillow. Is it comfortable? Is it worth purchasing? Let's see. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Lean Liz video. Flextail have kindly sent me this pillow to trial and review. I'm under no obligation or direction from them. I have used the pillow several times on camping trips and I think I have a good idea how useful it is and whether I'll continue to include it in my packing list. This one is catalogued as being the brown variant, although as we'll see, the colours are a blend of brown and a cream and light tan. There is a grey option as well. Its packed weight is noted as being 150 grams, but when I checked, packed in its little storage bag, it weighed in lighter at just 144 grams. Packed like this, it stuffs down to a little canister-shaped pack of just 12 centimetres long by 8 centimetres across. Then inflated for use, it blows up to be a useful 42 centimetres wide, 30 centimetres deep and at least 7 centimetres at its thinnest. More about the shape later. Materials used are a mix of polyurethane and polyester with silicon in the valve. Let's look at the surface material and texture in a minute. Flextail is a Chinese-based company with global distribution interests. They cater for folk in the great outdoors by producing high-quality gear to suit a wide range of activities. Being an inflatable product, care is needed in handling and using it as poorly treated it could puncture and then become useless, obviously. The overall shape is very packable in a rucksack. The fine drawstring and pinch toggle works well, and I like the way the end, which is often loose and twists up, is fixed back so it stays untangled. The extra side strap is lightweight and I'm not sure what it's really for. I wouldn't rely on it to carry the pillow with a carabiner. It's easy to extract and get ready to inflate. No dramas here. There is a top and bottom surface. Let's get it inflated first and then take a tour. The valve is on the end. It's made of quite soft plastic and has two overlapping clip over layers. For inflation, the top one needs to be open, lifted up. With my lung capacity, I need to use just five big puffs. I like my pillow fairly firm, but the inflation can be adjusted to suit individual preference. Once inflated, the top flap of the valve should be closed down. This forms a good seal around the valve so the pillow stays inflated. This zero pillow is slightly shaped, tapered with a thicker section at about 10 centimetres, with the rest around 7 centimetres thick. The general advice is that it can be used either way round depending on preference. I think side sleepers would use it with the thicker section under their neck, nearest to the shoulders, whilst those who sleep more on their back may prefer it with the thicker section away from the neck. The first thing to note when thinking of a comfort rating is the surface feel of the fabric. This is an inflatable item with a polyurethane membrane inside, but the surface is soft. There's no hard, horrid plastic feel about it. As I said before, the fabric is 100% polyester, but this has been produced to mimic a cotton-type surface. Comfort can be improved by increasing or decreasing inflation as well. As well as the clever design of the shape, its overall size is very reasonable. Not as big as a standard bedroom pillow, of course. This pillow goes a long way to provide adequate head support on a camping trip. Using this pillow, there's no need to scrunch up spare clothes, use boots or other gear as a makeshift pillow. 
on the underside there's an elastic strap. The idea is that it can be used to hold the pillow onto the mattress so that it doesn't fall to the side during the night. I've not used it like that. It doesn't fit my wide mattress here and even with my narrower mattress it didn't work as well as the concept suggests is possible. But hey, come on anyway, who fixes their pillow down at home? Next up is the deflation and packing it up. Take great care when using the valve to deflate the pillow, especially in colder weather when the plastic will be stiffer to use. Both flap layers of the valve need to be released and I suggest doing them separately, the outer one first and then the lower one second. But yes, take great care and don't be rough with the fabric around. With one hand ease up the flap valve and with the other hand hold down the plastic base ring and not just the soft pillow fabric. It goes down easily and my trick is to roll it up from the non-valve end, fold it in half and stuff the pillow back into the little pouch. Lots to think about when buying a camping pillow. I like it, yes, and now it's on my routine gear list for my camping trips. I've not done a multi-day hike with it yet where rucksack space and weight is more of a premium. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do add a comment below. In the description notes, there's a link to Flexdale's website, and this is the best bit, there's a discount code there too. Make sure you use that for buying the pillow and any other items on their website. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and bye for now.